Hi friends. I hope that you are doing great. We are going to do another online story time this week and our theme is all about family. Now while we're doing our story time, you might hear my family. You might hear some of my kids. You might hear our foster dog that's with us for a little bit or you might even hear the chickens that we got to borrow from the farm. Do you remember those eggs that we were hatching at the library? Yeah, look at what they've turned into. They're chickens now. All right, so we are talking about families today. So I want you to think about the people that are in your family. Who is in your family? Hmm? Are there some grown-ups? Do you have any other kids in your family? What about pets? Are there any pets in your family? Yeah? That sounds like a pretty good family. All right. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about family today. And we're going to think about ways that we can show our family how much we love them and how much we appreciate them. All right. Let's get started with our first story. All right. I thought it might be fun to start with one of our favorite songs from when you were little. Now, you've gotten pretty big, haven't you? So you probably don't sing this one as much anymore. But do you remember the song Skidamarink? Let's give it a try. Are you ready? <gasps> Skidamarinky dinky dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. Skidamarinky dinky dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you. I love you. I love you too. Boop, boop, be doo. Could you hear my tiny backup singer? The first book I wanted to read to you today is called Dad by My Side. It's by Sush. And it was, it's being read with the permission of Little, Brown, and Company Publishing. All right, ready? Let's give it a try. Dad by My Side, written and illustrated by Sush. With Dad by My Side, there's nothing we can't do. He knows how to make me smile. He's not afraid to look silly. I don't know if you can see, but her daddy has a hoon hoop stuck on his belly. No matter how busy he is, he always makes time. We love to try new things together. Eggshells in our omelets don't bother us at all. He comforts me when I'm sad. I make him feel better too. Neither of us likes it when he has to go away, but he doesn't miss a single lullaby, even when he's far from home. We fill our house with special marks. He teaches me, and I teach him too. We love to cuddle. Look at how they're cuddling. He always makes space. I love how much of the bed she takes up. It's so much like my real house. He tells the best stories. He makes every room feel cozy. He protects me from monsters under the bed. Are there really monsters under your bed? He helps me, and I help him too. It doesn't matter what we're doing, as long as we're together. With Dad by my side, I can reach the stars. All right, I hope you enjoyed 
that story. I really love Dad by My Side. I think it's a super cute book and the illustrations are beautiful. So if you have a chance to see it, feel free to check it out in the library once we reopen. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is a song from Jim Gill and he gave permission that we can use his songs in story times like this. So we're going to sing One From The Left. Oh, it's one of my kids' favorites. I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna do my right when I say left so that you can do your left. Are you ready? All right, see if you can hide your hands behind your back. Oof, it's a little tight in this chair. Are you ready? One from the left and one from the right. Met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called whoop-de-doo. Can you do it like a whoop-de-doo? And they said goodbye and walked away. Boop, 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 those two. Good job. All right, now this time we're gonna pull out two. Are you ready? Two from the left and two from the right. Met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called Snips Galore. Like scissors. Good job. Then they said goodbye and walked away those four oh hide those ready what's after two we have one two three from the left and three from the right met in the middle and danced all night they made up a dance called finger mix it's tricky then they said goodbye and walked away those six Good job. So we've done one, two, three, four from the left and four from the right. Met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called Bend and Straight. Good job. Then they said goodbye and walked away. Those eight. All right, now we're going to do our whole hand. Ready? Five from the left. And five from the right, met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called clap, and clap, and clap, and clap again. Then they said goodbye, and walked away, those ten. Just ten. All right, you, know you can hit it. Let's do it again. friends. Our next story is going to be about a different kind of family because we read a story about somebody who lives with their dad and sometimes friends live with other people. They might live with their just their mom or their mom and their dad or with grandma and grandpa and this story is about when grandma and grandpa are taking all care of them. Ready? It's called Llama Llama Grandma and Grandpa and it's by Anna Dudney. All right, this book is being read with permission from Penguin Random House. Llama Llama, big, big day. It's a first, a special stay. Pack up close and PJ's tight. Llama's going overnight. Who will take good care of Llama? Llama Llama's Grandma and Grandpa. Bag and fuzzy in the car. Buckle up, the drive seems far. Hugs and kisses, big hellos. Mama loves you, off she goes. A glass of milk, a yummy snack. Now it's time to go unpack. Mama's picture in a frame, different, also just the same. Llama dear, are you okay? <gasps> Llama doesn't want to stay. Oh no, have you ever done a sleepover? Sometimes sleepovers can feel a little bit scary and we might change our mind after we get there. Oh, it sounds like maybe Llama has changed his mind. Grandma says, let's go outside. Climb on up, pretend to ride. He gets to ride on a pretend tractor. Or a real tractor. Tractors, gardens, grass to mow. Llama's having fun, but oh, Fuzzy is still left at home. Maybe Fuzzy feels alone. Grandpa's workshop, lots to do. Wood and hammers, nails and glue. Llama makes a little chair. It's for Fuzzy, who's not there. 
Time for dishes, help get ready. Carry dishes, hold them steady. Oh, time for dinner, help get ready. Carry dishes, hold them steady. Grandma's house has different food, something squishy, something stewed. Llama tries it and it's good. Would you like more? Llama would. Dinner's over, time for bed. Llama wants to wait instead. Grandpa says, let's see the stars. Nighttime shows us where they are. Look at that beautiful stars at night. Take a bath, then comb and brush. Settle in for stories. Hush. Finish books and get a kiss. Llama, dear, now what is this? Oh, Llama's looking sad again. Llama's lips began to quiver. Llama starts to shake and shiver. Llama needs his fuzzy near, but Fuzzy Llama isn't here. Oh no. Wait a minute. Stay right here. Grandpa leaves, then reappears. I wonder what Grandpa has. When Grandpa was a little boy, he also had a special toy. Big or little, young or old, a llama needs someone to hold. Look at that, Grandpa gave him his special llama. Aww. A grandma kiss, a grandpa hug, feeling cozy, settled, snug. Llama's not alone, this is home. away from home. All right, you did such a great job with that story. All right, we're gonna try dancing our fingers now. Are you ready? Show me some dancing fingers. Dance your fingers up and dance your fingers down. Dance your fingers to the sides and dance them all around. Dance them on your shoulders. And dance them on your head, dance them on your tummy, and put them all to bed. All right, we're gonna do one more story, and then we're gonna be all done. We'll talk about what we can play with. Are you ready? Okay, this next story is by Mo Willems, who gave us permission. I don't know if you remember last week we wrote one of his. All right, of course, it's Elephant and Piggy, because I love Elephant and Piggy. This one is called The Thank You Book. Now, Elephant and Gerald aren't in the same family, are they? No, nope, they are just friends. But sometimes our family is made up of people that we surround us with just because they love us. And that's fantastic too. Ready? By Mo Willems. Oh, Piggy's thinking, I am one lucky pig. I have a lot to be thankful for. Oh, he's still thinking it, that's why there's dots. I had better get thinking. I am going to thank everyone who is important to me. Everyone? Remember, when the words are in gray, it means the elephant is talking. Everyone! No way. You will forget someone. You will forget someone important. I will thank everyone! It will be a thank o -rama. Wow. Off I go. Squirrels, Piggy. Thank you for your great ideas. Aw, shucks. Snake, Piggy. Thank you for playing ball with me. Do you remember in the book with Can I Play Too, where they throw snake back and forth? The pigeon, thank you for never giving up. And I am sorry you do not get to be in our books. That is what you think. Is pigeon in his books? Yeah. There's always a secret pigeon hidden in the front of the back. Thinking is nice, but you will forget someone. I will not. Mouse, birdies, rhino, hippo's big sister, barky dogs, pelican, bear, Hippo, worms, thank you all for being great friends. Aww. See that, Gerald? I am a thinking machine. Peggy, you have forgotten someone important. Do not worry, Gerald. My next thank you will be a big one. Thanks, Will. You are
are nice. So are you. Ice cream penguin. Thank you for your ice cream. It is what I do. Dr. Cat. Thank you for being a great doctor. Vicky, you are welcome. Brian Bat. Piggy, thank you for drawing with me. That was fun. Do you remember last week they drew together? Piggy! You are forgetting someone. Someone very important. Really? Oh, now I know who you were talking about. The flies. Thank you for cooking with me. Anytime, dude. Not the flies, Piggy. I cannot thank anyone else. I cannot think of anyone else I have forgotten to thank, Gerald. Oops. Who do you think Piggy forgot to thank? I goofed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Elephant Gerald. You are the best friend a pig could ever have. Well, that means a lot to me, Piggy. But I did not think that you forgot me. Who did I forget to thank? Oh, Piggy, she's so dramatic. She has such big reactions. Our reader, you forgot to thank our reader. You are right. Thank you for being our reader. We could not be us without you. You are the best. You did it. Great thanking, Piggy. Thanks to you. Yep, I am one lucky pig. All right, you know what? These past couple weeks have been a little tricky for families, haven't they? So there might be someone in your family that you need to give a big thank you to. You could say thank you for some of the fun stuff that you've been doing. That would be so nice. I bet your families would appreciate that. All right, I had some ideas for some things that you can do at home. Now I know you've probably been pretty busy, haven't you? So what I want you to do is that I would love you to draw a picture of you with your family doing your favorite thing that you've done while you've all been home. So during all of this time, what is the one thing that you can think of that was your favorite thing that you would did? And I want you to draw a picture of it and then guess what? If you're grown up once and it's okay with you, you can take a picture of it and you can put it in the comments here so I can still see your beautiful pictures. That would make me so happy. I would love to see them. All right, another idea of something you can do about family is that you can get an envelope and decorate it to look like your house. And then if you can find enough popsicle sticks, you can do a popsicle stick and add a face to it. And you can do a popsicle stick for every single person in your family. And sometimes I include dogs or other pets. Yeah. All right. The next idea that I had is that if you and your family wanted to go outside and get some sidewalk chalk, you could decorate your front walkway so that when your neighbors come walking by, they would see it and it might make them feel happier. So you can write a nice note to everybody. You can draw a picture of your family. You can write a big thank you, just like in our book to people who might be delivering food or your mail and helping us to be able to stay home and stay safer. All right, the last thing that I thought of was that you could try something new as a family. Now you know I have a lot of kids and guess what we tried today that was new? We hung up a hammock in our backyard. Yeah, so you could try something new. You can pick out a new recipe and try to cook it together. You can try a new activity. You can go someplace new to hike for a little bit. While well, we're still allowed to go hike, you should give that a try. Um, and see if your something new together is fun for everybody. Oh, you could try a new game too. See if you can find a new game to try. Or try an art picture that you haven't done with an artist like um, 
Draw Every Day with JJK has been lots of fun, and my kids have enjoyed doodling with Mo uh, in at lunchtime. So there are lots of options of things that you can do. We've been watching the zoo every day because the zoo's been doing things. Um, so there's lots of fun things that you could try that would be new for you. If you decide to try something new, you can write about that in the comments too. All right. I hope that you're doing really well and I hope that you're taking care of each other. And I know that I will be so excited to see you when we're back at story time. All right. I love you. I'll talk to you later.